Right, so this stream was supposed to be, well, a stream, uh, a, a video. So what happened was I was doing college work, you know, I, I, I finished it after the time I was supposed to stream, which is a bit late. So I decided instead of just having the live stream uh, and finish at like nearly midnight, I decided I'll just record it instead. Because at least that way, I'm, you know, I'm not, I, I can be a bit more of a mess rather than having to make myself, you know, talk and all that. And as part of the fact that I was going to be recording it, I said I was going to show the Excel sheet at the start of the stream or the, the video. Uh, I didn't, but then I edited that Excel sheet, which meant that I couldn't really show it at the start because I was showing stuff for the end of the season. So instead, you're going to see the Excel sheet guaranteed at the end of this video because uh, we are finishing season two. And then maybe, I'm not going to guarantee it anymore, but maybe season three, episode one will be a live stream. I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Right, so if you'll see, we are 18th in League 2. We're finally out of relegation zone. 42, 43 points. Sorry, I read that as 41. Uh, 43 points. So we're not doing too bad. Now, I've got loads of games to get through here. So we got absolutely destroyed by MK Dons. These are top of the league, by the way. 5 nil. So, yeah, it was a bit of a crushing blow compared to how we were last video. Uh, absolutely destroyed and it's not any better against Exeter we lose 2-0 to them but they were second in the league but thankfully in our third game against Barrow we won 5-1 with Ronnie Kraft scoring four goals which is six points and then Frederick Bureau scored a goal as well but you can just see how slow the Barrow players are and then in the MK Dons game and the Exeter game we got absolutely annihilated so if we're gonna well thankfully they're out of the league they're, they're promoted now so we should be in a good position next year to, to go for the title, I think. I think we should be fine. Especially since we severely uh, reduce the amount of goals that we concede. And we're increasing the amount of goals. And I believe that is Crafts Hattrick right there behind you. So I was supposed to show the Excel sheet, but as I said earlier, uh, I kind of edited it before I showed it. So it was, it was a mistake on my part, but you will see it at the end of this video. Uh, after I've finished rambling. Right, and... It's just a highlight of the goals. I probably should have edited this quicker, but I didn't because I'm very, very, very special. Okay, so that is many points. So where do I put the points? I put them into sprint speed for the, the hat trick, which is the five points, and the other two points I put into the power bar. Now against Walsall, you see, we've, uh, we've won a penalty here. And remember, penalty scored is plus one. So if we score this, uh, you get plus one. Now, technically, it's a goal scored as well. So, it should be another plus one. But at the moment, I have it as just for the penalty. So it's separate from a goal. But I feel like that should be different. Uh, if I had it my way, I would change that. Which I probably do have it my way. But it's too late to change it now. Anyway, he scores. So, that's a plus one for the penalty scored. So, we're yet to miss a penalty. And I think that's our second penalty, if I'm correct. Pretty sure we got one in the last part. And, of course, we can see a penalty of our own, which... I don't think it is a penalty, but look, it doesn't really matter. But Niall Barron whips out the stops again, and that is plus three goalkeeper points, which is excellent. Uh, we won that game 1-0, which was our first win. Uh, actually, sorry, it wasn't our first win. Barrow was our first win. All right, it doesn't matter. Harrogate, we drew one all uh, with Ronnie Kraft scoring, so that went into pass speed. Uh, and then, what is this? Cambridge. All right, so Ronnie Kraft scored a goal. And we put that into pass speed. But unfortunately, that was a game that we lost. So we're not doing too good in this uh, in this part. And you're probably asking why the video is so short. It's because the way I edited this video, and it was still in arse ways. Uh, yeah, college is crushing my dreams. Uh, there was Cheltenham where we lost 2-0, so I didn't show anything, because what's the point? Um, this is about the goals here, not about the results necessarily. But we win another penalty against Colchester here. And because Frederick Bure scored the last one... I don't see a need to take him off penalty duties as long as he's scoring. And he puts away a nice tidy finish there. Which is plus one, which we put into pass speed. Of course, that was the only goal that we scored in this game as a finish one all, but at least we didn't lose. Next up is Bristol Rovers, in which uh, our hero, Ronnie Kraft, who is now the league's top goal scorer by quite a bit, um, scored a brace. So that's plus three points, and we put that into pass speed now if you're wondering why some of these shots that look so weak are going in it's because they're finesse shots and finesse shots are not affected by sliders 
So regardless of whether my shot speed or accuracy, whatever it is, it's one. If you finesse shot, it's going to go back to the default 50 speed, which I find quite strange. Anyway, Bromley next. So we won 3-1 here. Man, we had two goal scores. Frederick Buer, who scored a brace. That's plus three points, so we put in the pass speed. And Ronnie Kraft, of course, who else? Our very own Highland, also scored. And we put his plus one into pass speed as well. So, because pass speed is holding us back at the moment a little. Because we just can't pass the ball to each other. It's, it's really harming our... Uh, our it's just, just our way of play. It, it's, we need faster passes, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on for now. Because we're fast enough as it is. Right, next up was Fleetwood. Penultimate game of the season. And this finished one all. And of course, as you can see, it was a very on Holland that scored. And yet again, that plus one went to pass speed. And then the final game of the season is against Tranmere Rovers away. Can you take a guess who scored? Yeah, well, look, there's your rebound goal. Uh, Ronnie Kraft scored a brace, which was plus three points. Now, you know the goal score. Can you guess where I put those points? Yeah, that's right. I, I put it into pass speed. And yet again, Ronnie Kraft is deadly. And that puts Ronnie Kraft's goal at 50 for the season. Top assister is Frederick Buer with 16. Which I'm going to be going over this anyway. I don't know why I'm saying it now. Yeah, here we are. So, Ronnie Kraft, at 18 years old, scored 50 goals for us. All in the league. Crushes the, the all-time goal tour record in League 2. Fjord Buer scores 16, or sorry, assisted 16. And Niall Berng has 12 clean sheets, so he did not uh, top the league for that, which is unfortunate, but at least we had points for the other two doing it. And our top performer at the club was Ronnie Kraft, who else, with 7.46, which I don't know how you get 7.46 when you score 50 goals in the league, but look, it's, uh, it is what it is. Now, in terms of... Yeah, here's where we confirmed the league. So he's, Ronnie Kraft was the league's top goal scorer. Now, unfortunately, nothing happened in the Cups. We weren't good enough. But at least in the league, Frederick Buer was top assister. Ronnie Kraft was the top goal scorer. So that's quite good. And then when it comes to the finances, here we go. So the club were increased to 25.56 million, which was from 8.2 million last season. So we got 10 points for that. Earnings increased to 26.04 million, which was up from 4.9. Expenses were minus 12 million, which were with minus 15.6 uh, last season. Profit was 13.7 million, which was minus 10.7 last year. And then profit net was 3 million, which last year was minus 10.7. And we finished 14th in the league, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, this is for failing to gain promotion, which is the only thing that AI won this time. And it goes to injury severity, which means that gets a plus 10. Now, I'm pretty sure this should go down to 40 if I've done this right. No, it didn't. It went to 60. So I believe injury severity is swapped. I don't think it goes to 100%. I think 100% is the worst one. Um, yeah. So I think I actually need to fix that. I made a mistake. Apologies. So that needs to go down from 60 to 40. You might need to remind me on that. So I'm just going to go over some of the stats here that you can see. Which is... Oh dear. Which is the following. So you can see our transfers out were Daniel Martin, Ryan Sykes and Akram Afif. Which we got uh, 21.75 million for. You can see from our youth academy we promoted Linus Becker who done very well for us. Eden Ray who hasn't really had enough time to make an impact but from what I can see he's been quite good. Uh, Damien Peltier who has really changed the right back position so well done. And then Alfonso Gutierrez who hasn't had a chance to properly make an impact so... Him and Ray won't be getting judged, but Peltier and Becker have certainly made an impact. And we didn't buy anyone, so we spent nothing on transfers, which is quite good. We didn't even sign anyone, other than for our youth academy. So at the start of the season, our club worth was 8.26 million, which as I said, I've already gone over this, but our club worth has increased. Earnings have increased. Expenses decreased, which is what you want. Profit increased, and then our profit net has also increased. Um, I can't put minuses in for this Excel sheet because it will come up with a formula, which I don't actually use formulas for this. I don't need to. I have a calculator. Um, so if you see that it's positive and all that, uh, it's not actually. It's These are all negatives. Uh, I need to probably put like a letter in front of it saying like negative number and, and all that. But 
uh, that's something that I will come up with for season three. You can see I have notables down here. So EF2, um, or sorry, League 2, Golden Boot, Ronnie Croft with 50. That's the figure. Uh, most assists was Frederick Buer for 16. That's in the league. Uh, Golden Glove was blank. Best performing player was Ronnie Croft with 7.46. Then no player of the season. That went to, I think it was someone from Exeter, I believe. And then manager of the season, I didn't get. Which we'll get that next season. Now, in terms of points allocation... Oh dear, this is uh, this is rough. Right, so you can see all the points that were given here. Um, I actually think I'm owed um, three goalkeeper points because I have it written down. You obviously saw it. Um, we saved two penalties this year. One of them was in the previous video. One was in this video. And I, as you can see, I don't have it. Anyway, I don't have a saved penalty. So... You can see AI had 25 points given to them. The player had 207 plus 3 goalkeeper points, which actually should be 6 goalkeeper points as I saved one penalty. So, with that addition, there is now a, an extra 3 points here that I need to give to goalkeeper ability. I apologise for making so many mistakes. So, I'm going to change this before the next part. Now, I'm, I every time I say I'm going to stream, I end up not doing it. So, I'm not going to make any promises, but... If you have watched, cheers. If you haven't, ah oh well. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Adios.